good morning students today uh, i'm going to explain you practical of chapter number 4 that is more on html okay so i have explained you this chapter in the zoom class now i'm showing you it practically so first uh, the topic was heading tab okay the use of different headings so first i will open the notepad then i'm going to write the first tag html okay after that i can read the head tag now in the head tag i write down the title tag okay and in the title tag i'm writing the heading that is type of headings and type of heading i'm closing the title tag i have explained you this earlier in the chapter number 3 that how we are going to write these tags okay and what are the use of these tags so after that i have to close the title tag also i have closed the title tag and i have closed the head tag also now the next thing is the body tag okay so now i will write a h1 tag under that i can write down heading 1 heading level one i'm writing this according to your book it's given in your book okay so next i'm writing the h2 tag that is if i write the heading level 2 now i'm closing the h2 tag after that we'll use the h3 tag in this i'm writing the h heading level 3 and i'm closing the h3 tag okay now again h4 tag that is heading level 4 you can write anything under these headings okay now next one is the h5 that we are writing heading level sorry level 5 now we are closing the h5 tag now the next thing is the h6 tag that is heading level 6 uh, okay and i'm closing the h6 tag now after that what we will do we will close the body tag now we will close the html tag html is written here so that's why i'm closing it here and i'm writing this here now i have to save this page save as i'm saving this on the desktop okay suppose this is heading dot html i'm keeping the name of this file heading dot html and i'm saving it okay so you can see that heading page has been saved on the my desktop okay now i have to open this with internet explorer or chrome i mean with the any of the web browser okay so i have opened this with the internet explorer so you can see the various headings have come and the sizes of the different headings okay this is how we are going to create the program in html okay so the next use in your book was given of the center if suppose i want to show heading level 3 in the center of the page then what i am going to do i will open the page okay and i will uh, put center tag here center after that i need to close this tag now i'm writing this okay now i will save it with the control plus l or i can save it from here now i'll go to this page again and i will refresh this page how i will refresh this page uh, either i have the icon here or i can press f5 key from the keyboard now you can see the heading 3 has been moved in the center of the page okay and the next thing is the paragraph tag now in this we are going to include the paragraph okay suppose i am including here the paragraph i have written this p now i am writing that i am a student of guru nanak public school okay full stop that it is situated in dalhousie 
okay so I have written this paragraph now I will close the paragraph tag now control s now you will refresh the page again okay you can see your paragraph came here okay so you can see that I have not given any tag before paragraph tag but you can see there is a single line here uh, above the paragraph and single line will be there below the paragraph okay the next I show you that what is the use of br tag so what we are going to do if I if I use the bold tag here okay suppose I'm using the bold tag and I'm writing uh, Dalhousie Dalhousie and I'm closing this tag B tag okay after that I'm writing the italic tag after that I can write again Dalhousie okay and the I has been closed now you save it and you see the result on your page can you see Dalhousie and Dalhousie this Dalhousie is the bold and this Dalhousie is italic so this is the difference between the B tag and the I tag but you can see that they both came in the single line okay but we want them that they should be in the different lines so what we are going to do we will insert br tag here okay i'm going to write here br tag now i will save it save this file and you will refresh the page you will see that both came in the different lines okay so this is the use of the br tag okay so next topic is the horizontal rule tag that is the HR tag okay HR tag is used to draw a horizontal line across the page and it is an empty tag that means it does not require the closing tag so what we are going to do that I am opening the same file again okay and here I am inserting the HR tag after the heading 1 suppose I write here HR tag okay now you can see I have saved this file and I refresh this file again you can see here there is a horizontal line on my document okay so this is the use of the HR tag okay the next topic I'm going to explain in you in the next video thank you students